I'm Dana, I'm the Chief Chicken at the Sleepy Chicken Company, I'm doing a video today for Judy Hale of um, Patterns for Pirates. Patterns for Pirates is one of my favourite of the independent PDF pattern designers. Not only are the designs fantastic and the tutorials are always really handy, but Judy has loads of extra information on the website, on her YouTube channel that shows um, new sewers or sewers who are looking to be a bit more adventurous and maybe sew some new things, um, some new techniques. So what we're going to be covering today is elastic. I'm going to be showing you various different types of elastic and how I use it in some of the garments. So I've got some things here that are made up so that I can show you what they look like in a finished garment as well. So the first thing that's really important to cover off is whenever using any kind of elastic, you have to make sure that you exercise it really well. So those kinds of instructions are always going to be in Judy's tutorials for any of her patterns that use elastic. But it's one of the kinds of things that often people can skip past and think, oh, I don't really need to do that. I promise you it's really important to exercise your elastic. If you don't, then after you've washed and worn something a couple of times, the elastic can give a little bit and it will just be a bit too baggy. So before you start cutting your fabric to your elastic to size, make sure you grab it and you give it a really good stretch a few times. And I don't mean just like a little piddly stretch. I mean, really give it the beans. And that means that when you come to cut it, it'll be the right size and it also means that when you wash and wear it it should have stretched out as much as it's going to and it will mean that you'll get a better fitting garment for longer and if you're going to be hand making things it's worthwhile making sure they're going to last for you for a long time. So the first type of elastic I'm going to talk about is just your generic kind of knit elastic so when you think about elastic this is probably what you're thinking of it comes in all sorts of different widths so the biggest one that I've got here is a two inch width nice and stretchy this is good for waistbands I often use this in the waistband of the the general um, straight waistband of the peg legs it's great for that I've also got a one and a half inch as well and then the size that I use the most of is one inch you can see I use so much of this I buy it a roll at a time rather than in lengths of a few meters at a time I use this all the time in the top of my daughter's leggings skirts anything pyjamas that has a waistband attached to it basically then you've got half inch again I use this a lot I have this on a roll and then the smaller width elastic that I know we've all been sewing loads with I have a ton of that as well you can also get elastic that's finished off so this has a bit of a sparkle to it which is quite nice I bought this to make something specific with um, and I haven't got around to doing it yet so eventually I will get around to making something with that but the general um, white elastic that I've got here it does come in different colours but you mostly buy it in white because you can hide it in things it's usually used for an encased elastic waistband so this pattern I think I use the just right skirt so it's a free pattern that Katie McKinley um, drafted maybe a year or so ago two years ago for pads of pirates so if you want to give it a go you can it's free it's on the website it's the just right skirt so it has little pencils on it um, but this is the basic version that i used and it has an encased elastic waistband so you form a casing first with your fabric as per the instructions in the tutorial then you leave a little gap and then you feed your piece of elastic inside sew it together and then slip it in and it disappears so that's your encased elastic waistband so you can't see the elastic once it's on you also would use an encased elastic waistband. So these are SOS pants woo, in a kind of a snazzy floral scuba. And this also has an encased elastic waistband. So I've got a piece of elastic inside this waistband here. And again, you just form a casing, slip it inside and then top stitch it down once it's in. I love scuba for SOS pants. The other little cheat I'm just gonna show you is on these leggings for my daughter, rather than forming a casing, what I'll often do is just surge or overlock the elastic straight on to the wrong side of the fabric and then flip it down and top stitch it. So the elastic you can see is just there, but it's kind of covered by the inside and the outside of the leggings. And then I top stitch it down with a triple stitch, a zigzag stitch, which is my favorite for elastic because it's super stretchy. You couldn't pop that if you tried. There we go, so that's kind of plain knit elastic. You can also get pretty knit elastic. It's quite nice, isn't it? So you could use that as the waistband on a skirt or on a pair of leggings, and you wouldn't even need to form a casing for it. You could just sew it straight on. It's really pretty, so it would form a waistband in and of itself. 
So that's your basic knit elastic. Then it gets a bit more exciting. So the next thing we're going to talk about is buttonhole elastic. So you'll have seen this probably in ready to wear items. I often get it. My daughter has to wear a uniform for school um, and the trousers and the skirts often have an adjustable waistband. So there'll be little buttons on it and you can tighten up the elastic inside by moving on to the next buttonhole basically and making it tighter each time. So you could do the same sort of thing yourself with your home sewing. Um, you could use it. The best thing probably would be something like the walk the plank trousers that or pants <laughs> I always say trousers um because it's a woven so it's gonna have an awful lot of give um and you can make like a longer cuff on it which at first you fold up and then you want unroll as they grow and if you have an adjustable type of elastic inside then you can be extending that each time to make it last a bit longer for them so that's always handy for small people that are constantly growing the next thing i'm going to talk about is um clear elastic so clear elastic again comes in various different widths this one is i think three eighths i bought this for a swimming costume it might have been the sunflower swim top i can't remember and then this one is the one i use all the time so this is a quarter inch clear elastic it's got a really nice stretch to it again you have to make sure you exercise it before you use it um but i use this not just for things like swimwear which we'll talk about in a second but i also use it for stabilizing things so for example these are some pegs i like to make my running pegs in swim fabric because it's really good it's breathable it's nice and stretchy and it dries out really quickly when you're running and you get all nasty and sweaty um and inside the top of the contour waistband so this is the new contour waistband on the re-released add-on pegs i like to put a piece of clear elastic inside the top seam of my contour waistband it does make it well the contour waistband is very tight so you do have to wriggle yourself into it but then once they're on they do not move you can run as much as you like and they just stay in place and that that little piece of clear elastic in the top really helps to keep them up and keep them where you want to be which is not falling down there's nothing worse than pulling your leggings up every five minutes while you're running and then the other thing i wanted to show you is oh this one here that's the next one so this is a pumpkin spice dolman and as you can see it's a sweat in it very pretty i only made this the other day i haven't even worn it yet um and as you can see it's quite long it's got the big wide waistband on it and it means it's quite heavy and if you didn't stabilize the shoulder seam on this then you might find that it's gonna it's gonna stretch out over time and your arms are gonna end up getting longer and longer so i like to use clear elastic i just surge it right on as i'm going this is a quarter inch clear elastic so it goes right inside my quarter inch seam um, of my shoulder seam and it just stabilizes that shoulder seam and stops it from stretching out um, you can also use it sometimes in side seams if you're going to make like a maxi dress and again your fabric likes to travel you could use it there uh, but i like to use it mostly in shoulder seams it's fantastic for that you can also use it around the waistbands of things like i said with the peg legs i've also used clear elastic in the waistband of the sweetheart and um, where the peplum attaches just to keep it popped in and I've also used it in the boundless as well you can use it to actually gather the skirt itself so you haven't got to bother with gathering it with two rows of straight stitches um, and then it helps hold the skirt in place as well which is fantastic I love it for that the next thing to talk about is swim elastic the swim elastic I have at the moment I don't like very much I bought it this summer and um, it's just not very nice it's kind of rubbery and I'm not a fan I had some last year that was brilliant but this i don't like so much but again it comes in different widths this is an inch and this is half an inch there we go but the the thing about swim elastic is it's designed not to perish with sunshine and with chlorine if you use regular elastic in a swimming costume and you're going in a pool or sunbathing in it then you can often find that the elastic will perish after time and if you get it out next summer um to put your swimming costume on again you'll find that the elastic's all gone which is miserable if you spent a long time making something you want it to last so if you're going to make swimwear do use swim elastic but you can get nicer stuff than this um here we go this is my daughter's i never know how to pronounce it 
minute Mayo, minute Mayo. I don't know. It's the swimming costume that Judy brought out last year. This is my daughter's. <laughs> She's so teeny tiny. Um, and again, the elastic goes on the inside. So, and then it's flipped down and then top stitched again using a triple stitch zigzag stitch and also round the legs the same thing yeah you needn't be worried about the swimwear it takes a little bit of getting used to the swim fabric um it's a bit slippery but it just takes a little bit of know-how and a little bit of practice and then you'll be good to go but my daughter loves this swimming costume i said i'll make her some more so i really must get on that okay so that's swim elastic the next thing to talk about is pico elastic so pico elastic i often think of as lingerie elastic really you'll use it a lot round um knickers so i've used it on the fierce undies around the legs um but it comes with lots of different styles so this is a basic kind of a you see it has a, like a scalloped edge to it yeah and then your picots can get more exciting oh comes in all sorts of different colors neon orange and the picots can get really big really pretty if that's against the edge of a piece of fabric and all you're seeing is those little picots popping out the top but as well look at this one Woo! snazzy as well as using it for lingerie you can also use it for just general dressmaking so this is a Mahati's dress Mahati's I made for my daughter it's got Trixie Lulamoon Trixie Lulamoon's dress My Little Pony I don't know either but it's got pico elastic so it's pico around the arms looks really pretty and then pico around the neckline it's really dainty. It's very pretty. I like it as a way of finishing a neckline. I think it's really sweet. Obviously, this is a costume and it's a shiny purple lycris looking situation, but it's really pretty. I love it. You can also use a similar sort of effect, although this isn't a pico elastic. This is just a generic type of elastic, but this is the wiggle. If you haven't made a wiggle yet, you owe it to yourself. You owe it to yourself to make a wiggle. Um, but again, this is where the elastic is sewn on to the wrong side if i can get it in the light and then flipped over and then top stitch down and then that's your neckline for the wiggle this is a stretch lace and i like to use swim as my lining because it's quite breathable and then stretch lace for the arms it's really pretty like i say if you haven't made one just do it suits everyone everyone looks fantastic in it okay the next type of elastic I was just going to briefly go on whilst we're in the area of lingerie is this kind of thinner, it's not like a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Galoon lace, it's not like a galoon lace, but it's, it's like a thinner type of galoon lace. And that's also really good for finishing so you can top stitch around necklines with that or you can top stitch around the hems of sleeves or around the bottom hem of a dress it looks really pretty just as the hem of something and again comes in all the different colors that you could want isn't that so pretty i love navy so like i say you haven't just got to use it for lingerie you can use it for other things too and then the next thing to talk about is fold over elastic. So fold over elastic, again, comes in different widths. So I've got two types of the same color, but they're different widths here. So this bright pink one is, I want to say almost an inch, not quite. And then this one is I think about an inch and a half. This is whatever the fierce bra needs. This is it, I bought it for the fierce bra. Um, and it literally, as you can see, it has a kind of a line down the middle and you sandwich your fabric inside it and then you top stitch it on. So just to show you how that works in real life, here's my fierce bra. It's all, all strapped all the time. It's brilliant. If you haven't made one of these, just do it. I, I Honestly, I wear them all the time. They're so comfortable. 
they're brilliant and the straps look really pretty with like an off-the-shoulder top or one of the cutout tops they're great but very simply the fold over elastic just folds over the raw edge of the lining in the outer and then you top stitch it down it's really quick and easy to do um, and again I've just used a triple zigzag stitch keep talking about that if you're not sure what a triple zigzag stitch is it's number five here on my list I use that all the time for top stitching elastic it's the best it's really super stretchy and it means nothing's gonna pop and then the fold over elastic itself just extends and forms the straps of the bra it's a great design really comfy very wearable I love them so I've also got this is like a matte fold over elastic so the other ones were kind of shiny it doesn't always have to be shiny this is a matte fold over elastic which is good to use as well okay and then finally I was going to talk to you about soft waistband elastic again you can get patterned ones or you can get plain ones but this is the kind of stuff that you would think of as um, the elastic that you'd have at the top of a pair of boxes it's really soft it's lovely against the skin it's got great stretch and even better recovery it's fantastic and you can use this um, Judy's got two designs that use this so the fierce undies the waistband is made of this so it's great if you're running or if you're in the gym your knickers are not gonna start to travel they're gonna stay exactly where they should be if you've got this holding them up and it's also used as you can see on the bottom of the fierce bra so this forms the underbust band of the fierce bra and with this one it's literally just top stitched on so nothing's flipped that's you can see that's my outer and that's my lining and it's just top stitched right on like that but this forms a really great underbust band it's very soft it's very comfortable to wear but it keeps everything in place and it forms good support for the rest of the bra as well so those are the elastics that we're going to be talking about today Hopefully that's given you an idea of what you might want to use them for. It's a really good idea if you're the kind of person that has a fabric stash to have an elastic stash as well, because I promise you, you'll use it for things. Um, and if you've just got it on hand, it's really good. So I would suggest if you're going to start getting into sewing, rather than buying tiny meat ridges, if you can buy it on a roll, it's not, honestly, it's not expensive. Um, you can buy things wholesale for not a vast amount of money um, and it's brilliant and then it's there when you need it you haven't got to then think oh I must dash out and go and get some elastic so if you can get some and keep it around then do like I say make sure you use the right elastic for the right things if you're sewing swimwear do use some elastic otherwise as I say after a while you can find your swimming costume the elastics perished and that's just miserable um, and have some fun with it don't be scared of it like I say, try some different stitches. Different machines are going to have different stitches. I like to sew mine on usually with my overlocker and then flip it and top stitch it with a triple stitch, sag, a triple zigzag stitch. If you haven't got an overlocker, if you don't choose to use an overlocker, you can sew it on with just with a straight zigzag stitch or with a lightning stitch. So to show you, that would be my zigzag stitch. And number 11 there would be my lightning stitch. So lightning is very stretchy very stretchy stitch and then flip it down but I always top stitch with my triple zigzag stitch because it's a great stretchy stitch and because it's quite wide as well because of those three zigzags it gives a nice covering of the elastic and stops it from flipping up which is something that you really don't want to be happening um, but like I say have a little play hopefully this has been helpful if you have any questions feel free to get in contact with us um, on the Facebook page and we'll do our best to answer them but that's Elastic. I'm Dana. It's been a pleasure. See you soon. Bye.